What's up, we are back, and today, heading into week six of the NFL season, week five is in the books. It was a solid week, not the best yet. Coming off of a 14-2 week in week four, week five hit, and so far we're 8-4. This is maybe a force on the NFL football. I have the 49ers beating the Cowboys, hopefully by a lot. I got some parlays riding on that. Uh, but 8-4 and four in the first set of games. The Bills, I don't know what happened there, and a couple other games that were kind of tricky to predict as well. Steelers was a pretty big upset in my opinion. Here we go, heading into week six, Monday night. Who's playing this Monday night? I gotta, let me cue in that prediction first. Packers versus Raiders. Honestly, I forget who I predicted. Go check out the other video if you wanna see. Heading into week six though, you hear it in my voice, we're sick. We have the annual fall cold. This is the flu game, I'm going. Now there's bye weeks. So I can't say I'm going 16 and 0 in picks this week, but what I can say is I'm going 15 and 0 because I think there's only one bye week. So we should be able to get all 15 games right. It's the flu game. The flu game is out. Here it is. I'm getting every pick right this week. Starting things off with an easy, easy game to predict. Thursday Night Football. Thursday Night Football this season has been complete snoozers. I don't really know what's going on there, but we got Broncos versus Chiefs. Uh, definitely going with the Chiefs. Not too much explaining needed here. The Broncos just lost to the Jets. They let Zach Wilson put up 31 points. Come on. Chiefs win. Travis Kelsey, though. His ankle, I don't know what's going on with that. Pretty weird, but Chiefs win. Ravens versus Titans. Let me channel the cold. Let me channel. Ooh, all right, I'm feeling it. Flu game. Give me the, the Baltimore Ravens. It's in Tennessee. The Titans, I feel like they're going to be motivated because they just lost a divisional game on the road to the Colts. They're going to come back to Tennessee, be motivated to play well, pound the ball with Derrick Henry. Derrick Henry got contained versus the Colts. But I liked some of the things that the Baltimore Ravens did on offense. I think they missed a couple big plays. Rashad Bateman, uh, you know, he's got bricks for hands. Devin DuVernay had a pretty crucial drop as well. He fell down. I think the Ravens could have done a lot better versus Pittsburgh Steelers offensively. Let's see that happen next week with the Titans. Ravens win. Panthers versus Dolphins. The Dolphins, I'd be a clown to pick against them. Uh, their offense is too good. Dolphins win right here for sure. Saints at Texans. Now, this game is tough to predict. Derek Carr and CJ Stroud, they honestly, they remind me of each other. Both kind of mediocre, solid, strong. They're, you know, they're quarterbacks that can win games. The Saints had a huge... The Saints defense has been carrying me in fantasy football. 34 nothing versus the Patriots. I don't really know. The Saints dominated. Kamara's back. Everything's going the Saints way right now. Derek Carr's injury wasn't serious. Derek Carr's playing well. Then the Texans. The Texans are having some good games as well. CJ Stroud's balling out, but they lost to the Falcons. So give me the New Orleans Saints right here. Give me one sec. I'm going to go cough and then be right back. All right, back to channeling the flu game. Like I said, Saints over Texans. Commanders at Falcons. Another troll bowl. The Commanders lost to the Bears, right? Uh, man, I, I, had, I, I predicted the Bears winning by over a touchdown, and it was like plus 440 odds. Crazy odds. I'm a genius. I know. Commanders at Falcons. I, I never choose the Falcons to win, and I think this is the first time I'm going to have to. I chose them last week, I believe, but versus the Commanders, I thought the Commanders you know, were on the up and up before they lost to the Bears. They lost to the Bears. They're on the down and down. Falcons win right here. Colts at Jaguars. Now, this is a good game. Anthony Richardson, I think he's overhyped, but he is kind of dynamic. Um, he, he, you know, what he can do with his legs doesn't go unnoticed. However, I, I doubt he's going to be playing against Gardner Minshew, but I also think that Jaguars, you know, they can be a very, very good team. They upset the Bills. I, I, I always have thought that the Jaguars could be that type of team that can be a contender in the AFC, and they showed up today versus the Bills. However, they, they don't do that every single week, so it's a tough game to predict, plus a divisional matchup, but we're going to go with Jacksonville, the safe bet here. Seahawks at Bengals. Now, the Bengals. Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow is back, the dynamic duo. Jamar Chase had 55 fantasy points. Good thing I wasn't against him. Oh, I was against Devon AK and every other description. Subscribe so you don't miss anything else. Seahawks, Bengals, though. Bengals had a good game. This one's in Cincinnati. Seahawks, fresh off the of bye week. What's the health of Geno Smith? He's probably fine. Let me get the Seahawks on a road win versus the Bengals in an upset, I believe. I think the Bengals should be favored, but let me get Seattle. Vikings at Bears. The Vikings, man, they cannot catch a break. They got butter, like their, their gloves, their football gloves. Most football players, you know, 
That's my that's my insert Elmer's Elmer's glue. They're rubbing Elmer's glue on their gloves, right? The Vikings have butter. I, I don't know what's going on. Like it's not only Alexander Madison that's garbage. They cannot hold on to the ball. They have like 10 fumbles on the year. Crazy. Do I choose the Bears? No. Come on. I'm choosing the Vikings. I still think the Vikings can be a good team, but they're running out of time. So they, this is a must-win game for them, it feels like. 49ers at Browns. Haven't seen the 49ers play uh, on Sunday Night Football yet, but, you know, if they lose me my parlay, I'm going to be pretty annoyed. Very annoyed. I have a plus 2,000-odd parlay. $2 turns into 40 if the 49ers win by two and a half points or more. Let's get some W's in the chat, because I know that as you're watching this, the 49ers won by 20 points, so we're chilling. 49ers at Browns. Deshaun Watson should be healthy for this game, uh, but that's not going to make a difference here. 49ers, one of the NFC's best teams right here. Cardinals at Rams. Now, the Cardinals at the Rams, these divisional matchups always get kind of wacky. With that said, the Rams' offense with Matthew Stafford, when Matthew Stafford is healthy, they're, they're unstoppable. Now, they did, they did get stopped last week, you might be saying. Yeah, okay, that's true. You know, it, it's not as not as easy as saying they're all right. I chose the wrong word, all right? They're stoppable. They're stoppable, but they're insane. Matthew Stafford can turn any receiver into being a monster. Uh, and with Cooper cutback, we saw that immediately, the impact he had. Rams should win, uh, I think, pretty hefty right here. I think the Rams offense does some good things. Of course, I'm going against Cooper Cup next week, so RIP. I have Puka Nakua, though, so it's going to be a battle. Rams win. Eagles versus Jets. Come on, bro. Now, I am an Eagles fan. I don't know if you guys know. I'm an Eagles fan. But they're, they're winning. The Eagles are not losing to the Jets. It's, it's not biased. It's just like it's Zach Wilson versus the Eagles defensive line. Rest in peace. Eagles win. Giants at Bills. We're going to go ahead and give the Giants the... Psych! Giants ain't winning garbage. They're, they're awful. They are all full. Now, Saquon's back. Saquon's back. For, this is Sunday Night Football. I'm going to bed early next Sunday. That's good. All right, fine. More studying time, I guess. Bills should win this one with ease. Cowboys at Chargers. Monday Night Football to wrap the week up. Cowboys at... Oh, this is a good game. This is a good Monday Night Football game right here. Who do I want to pick? This is tough. Drop, drop a comment down below who's winning Cowboys versus Chargers. Maybe I'll change my pick by then. What's the status of Justin Herbert? Justin Herbert, his finger's like dislocated or something, right? That's that's a factor. How are the Cowboys going to play on Sunday Night Football? It's hard to tell. The Chargers just had a bye. Austin Eckler, Eckler's back. I don't want to pick against the Cowboys twice in a row, but it looks like I have to. Give me the Los Angeles Chargers for now. Potential change, but give me the Chargers for now. That's going to be the video. Flu game. Cold. You know, we're hanging in there. Smash the like button. Smash the subscribe button. Show some support. Peace out. We're going 15-0, or however many games I just said this week. Let's go, baby.